This is the Wise Laser S20 projector. Let's take it out of the box. In the box is a nicely appointed carry bag for the projector and the associated cables. Let's take it out of there. In the box is the user manual and also a quick start guide, power cable, standard US plug to a figure eight style connector. They also include an HDMI cable, as you see right here. The remote takes two AAA batteries, they're not included. And of course the projector itself, it has a lens cap which is tethered. It's a nice small size. As you can see, you can pick it up easily. It's an LED projector. You can adjust your focus here and adjust other functions through the remote. On the bottom is a mount for a tripod or other such type thing, quarter inch mount. And right here with the unit right side up, you lift up the front of it, press this button, and this foot comes down so you can adjust the angle if you're using a tabletop like this. Around back of your speakers, power connection, there's an LED over there, audio out, USB so you can plug a flash drive in and play stuff directly off of that. This is an HDMI port so you can plug in uh, a cable box, a DVD, Blu-ray player, um, digital camcorder, uh, anything that has HDMI, even a gaming system can plug in there. And over here is the IR receiver for the remote control. Another thing that's not shown here is this also supports wireless 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And the wireless is there, so if you have, let's say, a tablet or a phone, you can connect wirelessly to this projector and have it mirror the screen to this. So now you can just use your tablet, let's say, to browse YouTube, watch videos, uh, maybe you have other apps on there like Pluto.tv or Netflix, Hulu, any of that great stuff. You can do that wirelessly through your own device, whether it be Android or iOS. So I'm going to take this and set it up in another location. It is daytime now, so I am very limited in where I can set this up to give you at least an adequate image quality test. So let me get that set up and we'll be right back there. And also I wanted to mention that this projector can produce up to a 200 inch screen size and it will support playing 4K videos, but it is natively 1080p, so it is gonna downscale to that. Okay, this is about the best setup I can afford you right now because this is really the darkest place in my house that I can do this at the moment. Uh, so this is the main screen here, and I do apologize about the fan noise of the projector. It's not that loud, it's that the camera is practically on top of the projector because I have the lens of the camera in line with the lens of the projector. So to give you the best image quality, the audio unfortunately would have to suffer a little bit. But uh, we'll go and I'll show you a series of still images first. So we're going to go ahead and just skim through these quickly, just to give you an idea of the image quality. And now I'll show you a quick video clip to give you an idea of the sound quality and the video quality, of course and then I have a separate sound sample I'll give you. Are you going shopping? Or did we just pick you up? What is the cat deal? All by yourself, you just went in there. And we'll do an audio sample. Uh, speakers built into it are acceptable. They're, they're not great. They're not bad. They definitely get the job done and don't sound horrible. 
So we'll go ahead and play a non-copyrighted song. I also wanted to point out in the menu here, you can adjust the projection mode. You can make it a mirror image, upside down, or mirror the other way, depending on how you have the projector mounted. You can also change the keystone to get the best image quality if you don't have the projector pointing square at whatever uh, it is. So I'll run that back, and another nice feature is the digital zoom. You can shrink the screen down to fit the actual projection, uh, you know, projector's screen just precisely, because sometimes you can't move the projector to achieve the, uh, the right size. It has to go where it goes. But for this demonstration, 100% seems to fill the camera frame, so that looks good. Now back on the main screen, you can see Hummingbird Cast, which would be for an iOS device, and Mirror Cast in the lower right corner for an Android device, and also, of course, the HDMI input. If you stick a USB drive in there, you'd use the file manager. So a very simple to operate projector. Uh, all around, there's really not many settings that you need to play with or even adjust. Everything just sort of works just by hooking it up and connecting whatever you're going to connect to it. So it would make an excellent projector for many, many different needs. Once again, this was the Wise Laser projector. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.